you have probably noticed a star twinkling in the night sky. Stars can shimmer because of Earth's atmosphere. The turbulent air surrounding our planet affects the starlight, making it look like the star is sparkling. Some of the stars we see get brighter and fainter over time, regardless of our turbulent atmosphere. In fact, some stars dim, brighten, dim again, and so on in less than a second. Other stars take years to vary their brightness. These stars are called variable stars. To find one of these variable stars in your night sky, let's start by finding the constellation that it's located in, Scutum the Shield. First look for the popular zodiac constellation, Sagittarius. There's a group of stars in Sagittarius that look like a teapot. On a dark night far away from light pollution, you can spot steam coming from the teapot. Of course, this isn't real steam. It's the light coming from hundreds of billions of stars that make up our Milky Way galaxy, which is why we call this band of light the Milky Way. Follow the steam away from the teapot until you reach a narrow diamond shape in the stars. The shield constellation, Scutum. A variable star, R. Scuti, is near the northernmost star of the diamond. At its brightest, you can spot it in the sky. But remember, it changes its brightness. And at its dimmest, some 50 times dimmer, you can only observe it in binoculars. It is relatively easy to find since it lies just about a degree or two diameters of the full moon northwest of a cluster of stars called the Wild Duck Cluster, named because the bright stars form a V, like a flock of flying ducks. R. Scuti is the brightest of a class of variable stars called RV Tauri. These stars are yellow supergiant stars that are thought to be near the end of their life. By observing R. Scuti and other variable stars like it, we may be able to learn more about the evolution of sun-like stars as they transition to white dwarf stars. To help you explore R. Scuti, the wild duck cluster, the constellation Scutum, and the rest of your night sky, try using a star chart or an app on your phone, or you can use our special handout. This variable star episode is brought to you by Ball State University, the International Planetarium Society, and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, an international consortium of amateur and professional astronomers. For more information on variable stars and how to observe them, visit their website at aavso.org.